So, just finished editing the this vlog that you're about to watch right now. It ended up being a real monster vlog, about 30 minutes long, so I've decided to split it into two, so it's not too crazy. If you're here for poker-related content, you might want to skip until the end of this one, and then watch the next one when it comes out in a day or so, which is going to be pretty much entirely poker, because the first half of this, or the full episode, if you want to call it that, is mainly just me talking about my life, myself, kind of what's happened in the past six months-ish to a year. Um, kind of for self-therapy and to kind of keep you guys in the mix too about what's been happening. Um, and if you want to hear me talk about that, then continue watching and I hope that you like it. So, there is, um, there's a hell of a lot to talk about, isn't there? So, hey, <laughs> a year older, a year wiser, um, I have a little bit of a beard now going on. It was a bit longer, but I had to shave it because I had a barber last week, it like totally fucked it and had to shave the whole thing off just before PCA. Um, right now, I'm in Florida, and I'm sure you may have a lot of questions, and I've probably got a couple of answers here and there, maybe not the whole story, but I want to tell you a little bit of it, and... <sighs> okay, I don't really know where to start, but... My last vlog was kind of like a half vlog in Amsterdam and since then I've kind of gone a bit blackout on you guys and I'm sorry for that. Um, I'm going to explain my reasons. I think housekeeping area, so I'm going to move this to the car. She plays the same old tune. So, yeah, where were we before we got rudely interrupted by the housekeeping? But going back a little bit, my last vlog was in Amsterdam. It was kind of like a half vlog. Um, and then since then, I've been absolutely like AWOL, completely gone dark for quite a few reasons. I think it's sad because last year I had a lot of great memories and I met a lot of great people too. But I do look back at it as like a shitty year just because I was going through some stuff basically towards the end of, not this year just gone, but the previous year. Um, I was going through a big breakup, um, which was just a whole nightmare to be honest. It was just an absolute nightmare and very messy. And not because it was particularly messy with, with my ex, it was basically a lot of logistical reasons. We just bought a house together, we have a daughter together. And it was a super tough decision for everyone involved and very hard on everyone. Um, but we, at the end of the day, I don't think we made each other happy. And I've said this to a few people, but I didn't really want to be 15 years later in an unhappy relationship just because we have a daughter together. And as much as I love my ex Alex to pieces and I want her to be happy, I don't think it was right for us to stay together. And I don't I don't believe that she did either. So that's what happened and the aftermath of that was me dealing with it horribly. Which obviously isn't the right way to do things, but that's what happened and that made it incredibly difficult to vlog because I was in a I don't want to say depression, maybe it was a mild depression, maybe it was full-blown, I don't really know how to gauge that, but either, whatever you want to call it, a funk, sadness, um, situation, 
I wasn't in a good place so it's super hard to make videos when you're in that kind of state of mind super hard to motivate yourself to do anything never mind something like that and for two reasons really number one I didn't want to show like I kind of felt a bit self-conscious I guess in a way I didn't want to show that side of me and I felt a bit exposed um, and number two I didn't want to have like a fake force positivity thing going on where I was pretending to be something that I wasn't and that I was pretending to be happy um, and both of those things resulted on videos kind of stopping completely and which is sad really because I enjoy, I really love making them it made it logistically harder for me to see Ari just because I was travelling a lot now I was, I was trying to find a new place in London and all around pretty difficult I had a lot of different things going on and didn't really handle it all that well I, I've like my pers my natural my natural reaction in these kind of situations or I guess when things go badly is to become my most introverted self and I kind of push people away and I don't want to say ignore the situation but I try I guess I kind of was doing things to escape from the reality of not being able to see my daughter all the time and also trying to get over the breakup too. This was specifically such a difficult time, probably like the hardest few months of my life um, that I really didn't feel up to vlogging and I'm sorry I kind of didn't really explain, I just didn't really know how to. I closed out a lot of people and in the last few months I've managed to talk about a lot of my situations and stuff and it's really helped a lot. Um, because it, it can be super easy just to fall yourself into like a negative like pattern and kind of go through the same mistakes and now you're in some like shitty merry-go-round of doing the same things which aren't really making you feel better. Um, but now I'm honestly feeling in a super happy place. I've been spending so much time with Ari and honestly that just like breathes like new life into me just seeing her and it just makes it more and more harder to leave every time. So I was just in PCA for the main. Um, and to see some friends and then either side of that I've put, I've put in a long trip with Ariana and like she's just growing so quickly she's so amazing like she's asking so many questions and eventually I, I will end up having to move to Florida I think just because um, I want to be more of an influence in, in her life and more of an influence on her and try and for both of us obviously she needs me and I think I need her too um, so yeah, that's kind of what happened and it's kind of the reasons I went a bit AWOL. I hope you can kind of understand some of that. I don't I know obviously everyone won't be able to relate to it, maybe some people can. So yeah, now I'm back, it's 2018, it's a new year. I spent a hell of a lot of time last year actually in Macau. Luckily I've ran well in a couple of big situations. So I'm on a bit of an upswing, which is nice. Um, obviously that helps too with morale. That was what I was doing just towards most of the end of the year to last year. Uh, basically just getting my head down, working on myself, really. Because I just think that's kind of important in just overall happiness. I think when you're not feeling good about yourself, it's hard to make other people feel happy, which is what I think brings true happiness. Not to get too hippie on you. Right now, I'm gonna go, it's my last day or so in Florida. Feeling pretty hungry, actually. I'm gonna go to grab some food from somewhere and maybe meet up with some friends tonight, I'm not sure yet. And then I think I'm probably going to fly home tomorrow. Um, I'd originally planned to fly tonight, but I think I'm gonna stay one more night just to, I want to do a couple of things still. Um, it's London Festival in a few days, um, so I am going to be vlogging that event. I know I'm supposed to plug them, but genuinely, what they're doing right now is really, really sick. And I'm hoping the festival's gonna be a huge success because I think it's just gonna bring um, a lot of pros out of the woodwork who might have been on the fence about playing and that in return brings a lot of uh, more players to the field and then gets more hype around the event all of a sudden it's big and hopefully it's going to create some good stories too for next year I think I'm probably going to fly home tomorrow I think I'm probably going to fly home tomorrow Let's grind to the beat. 
quick gas stop than airport it is. So fast forward a few days and it's now Monday. I decided to just hang out over the weekend with some friends. Uh, I had a really great time. Um, but now, a bit of a detox time, back to London. Okay, time to go to the airport. Okay, so my so main camera died. We're going medieval iPhone for the rest of the uh, well, at least until I can charge it anyway. Just gonna grab some food now. Cuban sandwich, given that we're in Florida, um, and then flight leaves in about an hour. slept like five hours on the flight so not too bad uh, it's like 11 a.m. now so hopefully it could be a bit of a long day later on if I hit a wall but just waiting for you to know so nostalgic babe singing the blues stuck in the same damn game Okay, 5 p.m. Overslept the alarm, obviously, and now in a bit of a rush, but I'm just gonna grab a quick bite to eat uh, with Katie and Mormon, and then probably get into the tournament at like level two or three, uh, something like that. I'm sure there's gonna be lots of friends playing this tournament, and the fact that it's like a platinum pass for first um, added, so hopefully it's gonna get a lot of runners. Finished dinner, time to go to the Hippodrome. Reg the 2K, hopefully get a good table. <laughs> 